Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today I wanted to do a quick overview of BookBeam. For those of you that are new to publishing, BookBeam is another validation tool that we can use to make sure that we're in the right niche and that there is demand for the book that we're producing. A lot of times we get really excited and we see something else in the marketplace and we just copy it. I did that in the beginning and I want to save you from those mistakes because there is a better way. So BookBeam is a comparable software product to Publisher Rocket. The difference is Publisher Rocket is a one-time $97 fee. BookBeam is a $39 fee. So I did not purchase this or sign up for this subscription until I was making over $39 of profit a month. So it, I had to justify the purchase for it. So I'm going to walk you through what I love about it and drop any questions in the comments that you might have about niche validation. In a previous interview I did on Monday, if you are new to the channel, you saw that I was interviewed by Rachel Harrison's son, and I talked about BookBeam, and it wasn't a product that she's ever used, and so I figured uh, much of her audience probably didn't know about it, so I would do a tutorial really quick about it here. So I learned about BookBeam in a coaching program for high content, so if you wanted to write a book, okay? So this has a lot of tools. I'm only going to show you one today because there are so many tools. I feel like it could have, this could have its own mini series. Um, but I don't recommend that you dive in until you're making money, unless you're so desperate and you need to validate a niche that I'd say, go for it. I have an affiliate link, uh, at no cost to you. That's in the comments of the description of this video. So I want to just dig in and show you one thing that I really love about this. Um, there's a lot of different things you can do here. You can track a book if you have competition that you're looking for. There is Niche Finder, but my favorite is the keyword research, research tool. They are in beta for this. But if you go ahead and type in something, this also allows you to search on Audible. So that's a big deal and a big difference between Publisher Rocket and BookBeam is there's a lot of money to be made in Audible. I'll be going down that direction soon and I'll document the process for you guys as well. But what I really like is the information that's given to us in BookBeam. And so I previously, you can see previous search was children's book zero to three. So people are searching this all day long, right? And the competition is 40,000 40, competitors. Some people ask me, like, how do you know if you want to break into a category or not? Um, because the keyword is children's books, right? But the category could be so many different things, right? So, like, let's take it a little bit deeper. And let's do children's books 0 to 3. And let's do nature. Like, let's just see if there is a sub niche for this, because there was 125,000 searches a month on Amazon. But look right here, this is awesome. So I just niched down by adding a keyword, right? So the first keyword was children's books, zero to three, and then I added nature. So now there is a whole group of people. I bet their moms like me, they are looking for children's books about nature to teach their babies. And this is a really great niche. Look, the search volume here is 4,965. So people are looking for it, but the competition is fairly low, right? 6,000. It's not too bad. Some people would be intimidated by this number and you can choose. Oftentimes I ask myself, like, is my passion and excitement to publish in this keyword and niche more important than the competitors? Sometimes it's yes, sometimes it's no. You guys, I am writing a book and I'm going to share it with you guys. It's going to be launched next month. And I believe there's a, a lot of competition for it, but I really don't care because I created courses on it and I'm really excited about it. So you really have to decide. There are some publishers, self-publishers that do publish on KDP 
and they use ads to get to the top of their competition. So I would say it's so hard to give people the best answer to decide to publish, but I will tell you this, this key thing to remember. And the most important thing to remember is the lower the competition, always better, right? So search volume, this is, in, this is a great search volume. To me, I would do it, okay? I don't really have any ideas for nature books for little, little babies, little zero to three, but if any of you are like illustrators, this might be an interesting one for you to focus on, okay? Um, if you want to team up and do a book together, let me know. <laughs> I'm always about collaborations. Okay, let's try science for little tiny babies. My husband just bought an engineering book for t like babies, and it was really fascinating for my little kids to see. Okay, look at this competition. So there is almost twice as much competition for science baby books and half the search. So if I had to pick between science and nature, you guys know what I would pick, right? I'd pick nature, which is true in real life too. Okay, now let's look at art. Children's books, zero to three. All right, this one's this one's in between, right? There's about 7,500 people that are searching for this and the competition is a little bit higher. So I've talked about like, what is the competition? Let's plug it in and see. Let's just hit this bar and it will take us right to Amazon. And it's going to plug it in as books. You can see you don't have to change the category. It is actually looking at books. And it looks like we're actually in my KDP or my Amazon account. So you're going to see the things I'm shopping for for Christmas for my kids. My sister wrote this journal book on light. Um, I love books, right? So I'm not above buying them. So let's go down and see what books, children books are coming up for children's books, zero to three art. Okay. So my Amazon takes longer to load because I have self publishing Titans Chrome extension, which is free. I'd recommend you do that. That is this, um, ASIN price history sold by FBA, the little red sign one FBA seller. People, FBA people, fulfillment by Amazon, they can sell your books on Amazon too and you get profits from it. So that's pretty cool. So if you look underneath this book, My Magical Choices, there is a BSR in green. That's 23.43. And it's it's telling me it's selling about 54 a day and the royalties just per day is 570 bones. So this little tool right here, this is BookBeam. This is a BookBeam um, Chrome extension that also is part of the deal when you get the subscription as the web app, okay? So there's little things here. You can copy this ASIN if you're going to target it. But this book is two years old and it's still doing really well. So that's pretty cool. So let's just click on show BSR best selling. Um, sorry, I got distracted. Best selling rate. Is that what BSR stands for? And um, this is the BSR trend. So when you have BookBeam as the Chrome extension, it will show you the pricing. The pricing is always in the yellow. Look, they lowered the price here. It must have been like a promotional. And then when it was selling really well, they raised the price. And then like you could see sales kind of went down. So this is really cool. You can um, unlock different seasons of the book. And um, let's go to a year. So this is really cool. Okay. So this gives us an idea of like this is sold pretty well for the past year, right? Like... It, it was in best-selling rank, sorry, rank, right? <laughs> Not rate. It's been in the thousands. That's amazing. Okay. Um, and you could unlock this. I think I might have this feature, but I'm not sure. Okay. I don't have a pro account. I have the basic 39, which has been good for me so far. So if we go down to reviews and rating history, we can see that you can see the actual, you know, on a five star where it's coming in at. Okay. So if you saw a book that was selling good, that had bad reviews, you could go in and look at the reviews and think, okay, I want to compete with this book because I can make mine better than the current one. Okay. There's no shame in having confidence in publishing. Okay. So this author is teamed up with the illustrator. So 
I would say that's a really important thing to notice the success of that. Um, it's also a hard cover and this is not, I don't believe this is a self published book. Okay. But it gives us an idea. And this is also a book being feature best selling rank estimate daily sales royalties breakdown. You can click on this. It will show you the stats. Okay. So it's a really cool thing about BookBeam. It really empowers you to decide if you want to actually publish in that niche, right? And I think that is always a really empowering thing. They obviously have good A plus content, but this isn't really a video about A plus content. This is really a video about finding successful niches, which we did, right? We found, we found a couple. So if you're on the fence or you're ready to invest a little bit more in your KDP journey, I have a link for you to get, I believe some discounts on your first month. There is a free trial and there's lots of videos here. So we might have to make this a series of a playlist of book beam, because I know that as I dive into it more, I'm going to learn more and I'm going to be able to optimize my books with this information. Love you guys. Peace out.